it's bigger and I know this is like the, so the wrong word to use. It's more explosive than you could ever imagine, you know, when it comes at you. Um, I just felt like my, ch my breastplate was gonna shatter. It was so intense. Emily, what was it like to join the Christopher Nolan world? I mean, I was just so delighted to, and you feel really honored to get that call, you know, because we're all so, um, we've all been so intoxicated by his films and, his 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 capacity, his excellence, you know, and, and you just know you're gonna be in safe hands and that exploration of huge themes in an entertaining way doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. Like that depth, the depth of the material and yet on this massive epic scale. And he writes such wonderful characters. His he's such a brilliant writer. Yeah. And I thought that when I read it, I was like, this is the most heart racing, emotional script I've read in. He's such forever. a great director that he doesn't get enough credit as a writer. Oh my god. Yeah, he's, he's such a, a brilliant writer. Phenomenal writer. Yeah. I read the script and was totally overwhelmed by it. And then I read the book and went, Oh my God. How like, this did is he do a it? magnificent yeah. adaptation of this incredibly dense book right and uh, and all of that stuff he just packs into every frame so there's so much detail there's so much and before every shot he would discuss you know so everybody remember the dynamics even if it was just a look from what you know all these scientists aren't built equally there are some you feel a different way about you know and it's just like all of that little the stuff nuance is, is so yeah beautiful. so much nuance had you been pining to get back in in into a Nolan movie? Oh my God, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I I check in with him, you know, kind of periodically. Hey, you got, it's me. Hey, got anything going? <laughs> How are you? He's like, avoid his calls. <laughs> I am not home. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, you know, I, I would do anything with him. I mean, and I think <clears throat> you look at the cast in this, um, a lot of these great, great, you know, people who lead their own movies were coming in to do one scene. Yeah. Um, and I think that's just, you know, a testament, testament to him. Because yeah. because I would do that for sure. I'd come do a scene. I'd happily do it. I mean, I kind of did an interstellar. Er, in interstellar. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, so I've done that. So, so I'd like a bigger part. Now. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to work my way up. <laughs> but if, but if it goes <laughs> if it goes the other way, that's okay too. Yeah. Kitty is so complex. I mean, and I think she's rendered incredibly accurately to the book too, and all her complexities and flaws. I, what was the challenge like for you? I mean, I think she was um, not an easy woman and um, not an archetypal sort of nasty person. I didn't want to play that either because I had such empathy for her. You know, those women who were meant for great intellectual endeavors and she kind of went to waste at the ironing board. And I have so much empathy for that, like having to contort herself into the that feminine ideal of a 1950s housewife. She wasn't built for it. She wasn't meant to be a mother. She wasn't meant to do these things. But I did love about her that amidst all of that and that hardship and clearly the decay of the person, she was so immensely proud of him and didn't resent him, Was was thought he was remarkable and was a huge monumental presence in his life, you know. So she was complicated to me and it was just important to show all of that. And Chris, again, he, he wrote an extraordinary character. He did. And Groves is kind of this starch conservative who yet they had this respect for one another. Yeah. And without that, it wouldn't have happened. I mean, what was, what was it about him? Yeah, you know, it was really funny. The, you know, Chris, I talked to Chris about, you know, the, he wanted, accessibility from that right like if you're if you're a part of this master master's painting you basically you know what do you need me to do to, to make the whole thing work and it was really about that accessibility and you know groves like it's very funny like this idea that you know these guys are obsessed with compartmentalization and need to know and all this stuff and like science is the opposite of that it's like share all your work so that we all can get to the to the answer and so there was this natural tension obviously and that's what we were just trying to get to get across that, uh, you know, because it was just the logistical undertaking was so massive, mm. you know, and fraught yeah. with all of these kind of built in uh, issues that um, it's 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 amazing. That but they, the warmth and respect you guys had for each other was so cool to see and, that as and well. very real by, yeah. you know, by all accounts, like a, very, a real, a, you know, they, they really did like each other. Yeah. 
Um, there's obviously the experience of making it and then watching it. I wonder if you could talk about the latter and what it makes you feel to be a spectator to this. It's film. sort of strange when you're making a movie. I feel like you're on the inside looking out. So it's like very, it's really overwhelming to see it reflected back at you, especially one of this magnitude. And I found it such an immersive experience. It was a very focused set, fun set as well. Not not too serious, but the work was serious. The sweating of the details was serious. And that kind of, everyone needs to kind of match Chris's excellence or want to. Um, but I think to see it come back at me, I just thought it was, it was so overwhelming. It was so emotional watching it. Um, it's bigger and I know this is like the, so the wrong word to use. It's more explosive than you could ever imagine, you know, when it comes at you. Um, I just felt like my, ch my breastplate was gonna shatter. It was so intense. Um, it's such an ambitious story to tell. Um, and, you know, I, reading the script, I, I, I had the same feeling I had when I read Interstellar, which was, this is great. How the hell is he gonna do this? Like, I really am curious to see how this, how you do this, right? It's it, the ideas are are are, are huge, and um, there's so much, you know, the the level of kind of detail, even in the writing, and you go like, I I don't know how he's going to do this, so, so that was, yeah, to go sit in IMAX and like have this thing, you know, this immersive experience with it was, was yeah, it's a lot.